Today on Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing, I'm going to show you guys how you fish a weightless tube. folks welcome back to another episode of Brendan's fabulous world of fishing and I am out here on a pond that has some really really nice fish and today I'm gonna to be showing you a technique that I think is very overlooked it's fishing a weightless tube so without further ado let's get started There's one. Ooh, good fish too. Oh yeah, big fish. That's a nice fish right there. How big he is. He's a nice one. All right guys, check that out. Nice chunk. Probably go two and a half pounds, maybe three pounds. Um, What's great about throwing a weightless tube like this is you can fish it on the slop or you can fish it in open water. He came up to the slop and whaled it. Woo! Nice one. Alright, so great first catch. We're going to move up a little closer and see if we can't catch another one. Whoa. You like that facial hair coming in there? A little mustache happening. Let me know in the comments below if you like the mustache. And don't say anything if you don't like it because you're going to hurt my feelings. What's great about throwing a weightless tube is that it imitates it imitates so many things. You, you know, it can imitate imitate you know bluegill. It can imitate a frog. It's just a very very versatile way to fish, and I think a lot of people don't take advantage of it. Right now, I'm throwing it on a spinning rod because I'm being a little bit finesse with it. You know, I'm just gently twitching it and letting it fall, kind of like a wacky rig. Um, this is a medium heavy action spinning rod, and I got 10 pound test line, so it is very well suited for this area where there's a lot of, you know, weeds and stuff. And there's another one. Not very big. Oh, he's a nice one. Ooh. He's not a big one. Nice little fish. Look at that guy. Uh, that VMC hook stuck him really good, too, man. Nice one. He missed it. He missed it. I don't think I saw that. He slapped at it. What's hard about throwing slop is you gotta let the fish have a chance to take it. There's one. Weightless tube. He came off. Gummit, that fish came off right there. Just got a bunch of weeds. All right, so I had a comment on a video a while ago and someone asked, what's my favorite time to fish? I'm gonna tell you, right now is my favorite time to fish. You look behind me, we have had storms all day. We still got clouds in the sky. I don't know if that storm's really gonna dump on us, but it seems like I always do better after a storm or before a storm. I don't know, it's just something about it that just turns those fish on and you will catch a lot of fish. So there's an answer to a question. All right, so how do you fish a weightless tube? Pretty simple, I'm gonna show you guys here. What you're gonna wanna do Two ways you can fish it. One way, like I've been showing you, throw it on top of the slop, get him to come up to the slop to bite it. But probably the most common way I fish it is I throw it out and I just let it sit like this. I'm just letting it sit. I'll give my line a couple twitches, let it sit. Give my line a couple twitches, let it sit. That's pretty much all I do. And that bait's just, just doing that. The way you tell a bite, usually when you pick up your slack, you'll feel something on there. And you set the hook and you got a fish. Now we'll have a fish on. That'd be perfect timing if I just said, you know, if I just got finished doing that and I caught a fish, it wouldn't be, it'd be perfect timing. As right, a quick update while I'm on camera here, I'll be doing another Q&A very soon. So go over to my Q&A video and leave your questions in the comment section. I'll be answering some more of them. It's gonna be fun. I had a lot of fun with the net last Q&A. So let's do it again. It's kind of an awkward, just, you're just watching me as I walk. 
I'm just going to fish this on top of the slop here. There's some slop just right close to shore. I'm going to just fish this real quick, see if there's anything. Nope. Nothing there. Again, like I said before in other videos, fish what's in front of you because in a pond like this, this bass could be literally right below the surface. So I always try and fish, whether it be a little bit of weeds or a couple cattails or just a little bit of bank in front of me. If I can't see it fairly well, I'll usually fish it because bass are masses of camouflage and they'll not, they're going to be hiding there. I can't tell. A lot of times when I'm fishing, I look for wakes or ripples, like right there. One. Woo -wee. Lost him. Look at that. I lost him again. Like I was saying, a lot of times what I'll do is look for clues as to where the fish are. You see a ripple. You see a little streak. A lot of times I'll see a bunch of, you know, you see a bunch of ripples over there. Something moving around the water. Those all tell me that there's probably something under the water. That's what I look for a lot of times when I'm out, look out in the body of water. I just look for something that's a little out of the ordinary. Maybe you see a little ripple or a little streak or something like that. Cast to it. More times than I can count, I've seen a ripple. I've cast it to it and I've caught a fish. Yep, saw him. I just saw that fish under that dock. Oh, now he's in a bunch of... Oh, nice. Salad fish. You guys even see me? Yeah, I want to I am a little Oh, that. That fish. Look at that guy. He is... Whoo! He is a nice fish. Hiding under that dock. I flipped under... I skipped it under there. Saw this shadow come up behind it. Boom. That is a beautiful, beautiful bass on the weightless tube. Need I say more? I don't think so. Look at that guy. Look at the yap on that thing. Oh. Particularly bigger body, but that's a nice fish right there. Probably the nicest one of the day. So guys, that about wraps up the video. Click here if you want to see my review of the Yum Fiber King tube. The, the bait that I was throwing today. It's a great, great bait. Highly recommend you check that out. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And if you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe to the channel, I'd recommend doing it. But if you want to, you'd probably, if you wanted to subscribe to this channel, you probably already would have done it. So that didn't make much sense. Anyway, thanks for watching. Not gonna jump in, I'm not stupid.